At the core of the SQL Server database engine, there are two major components. There's a storage engine, and there's the query processor. The storage engine is responsible for reading data between the disk and memory, or the buffer pool. The query processor, his job is to accept all queries submitted to SQL Server, devise a plan for those, and then execute that plan that delivers the best required results. For each query it receives, the first job of the query processor is to devise a plan, which describes the best possible way, or at least most efficient way, to execute that query. Its second job is to execute the query according to that plan. Each of these tasks is delegated to a separate component within the query processor. The query optimizer devises the plan and then passes it along to the execution engine, which will eventually execute the plan and get the results back from the database. In order to arrive at what it believes is the best plan for executing a query, the query processor performs a different number of steps. The entire query processing process is broken down into four main components. The SQL statement is issued. The first component is its parsed. The second is its bound. The third is it's optimized. Fourth is the query execution pushes out the query results. And that's basically how the query optimizer works at a very high level.